Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so if you're struggling to pick uh, either between law or computer science, I have great news and you no longer have to pick. You can now do a law and computer science degree. So instead of uh, picking one or the other, you can now have um, qualifications in both fields. So you can now be a programmer, software engineer, and also an attorney. Now, when I was uh, in law school, and I'm just wearing my uni hoodie right now, when I was in law school, uh, we never had that option. There was never um, a combined law and computer science degree. Um, there was a law and computer science course, but not at my university. One of the first, first law and computer science courses that I saw was offered by Oxford. And I remember emailing one of the professors um, after he was a connection on LinkedIn and asking if I could enroll or whether, whether it was an online course. And he was like, no, you have to be um, an Oxford um, student in order to register for the course. And it was always a very limited course, uh, very small, restricted to a few students who enrolled in, in, in particular courses. And so that was sad. Um, we, we never got to do that. And what's happening right now um, is that Oxford is actually trying to develop um, online learning, which is going to be public. It's called um, uh, Old Tip. So they're, lear they're launching an online learning program which combines both law and computer science. So similar to a law, uh, law and computer science course, they're now uh, focusing on building a degree. Um, it's not clear whether it's going to be available to the public and non-Oxford students. All I know right now is that I'm applying for a, a research uh, assistant position there. Now, if I don't get the position um, as a research assistant at Oxford, if I don't get that, I'm still going to focus on uh, trying to build my own uh, law and computer science, uh, law and S S um, C S law and S and law and C S degree. Um, just for the regular public, I'm going to I'll be uploading some of the materials on YouTube. In fact, all of them, like the lessons and things like that on YouTube, what I think is really important, considering that I'm now um, working on my uh, legal practitioner's license. So um, after working as an attorney and I get some experience, I can also talk about my experience working in-house uh, in a law firm with IT, uh, since that's the field we're interested in. I'm gonna focus on building that course for you guys talk a lot more about coding and applying coding into our law careers. So that's the, the, the biggest issue right now, which is that law schools right now are trying to um, bridge the gap between law and computer science and form a united degree. Um, at the University of Cape Town, they, they, they were saying that for like the past four years when I was in uni, they were always saying we're going to build a, a law and computer science degree, we're going to build a law and computer science degree. Unfortunately, I didn't get the opportunity to do so. But for my master's, I'm hoping that I can do um, the master's in information technology offered by our university, where essentially you learn coding. So I ho hopefully that will be like revision for me, since I've been doing a lot of coding for the past year. So hopefully it'll be a lot of revision for me if I do, if I focus on a degree that's purely based on coding. Um, it's not a regular master's. I don't want to pick a, a regular master's because a lot of that is just research into one uh, field. I wanted to pick a master that was specifically focused on coding and only coding and the internet. So I already have a law degree and my legal practitioner's license. And so now I wanted to merge coding skills. And that's how I was going to build my own um law and computer science degree because we never got one when i was studying so um i hope you guys follow along with the journey um hopefully when you're watching this uh you're probably enrolled in a law and computer science degree uh best of luck and i hopefully you can give me some feedback on uh, certain topics you want to see in the syllabus or certain things you want to learn about we can all learn together because a lot of this is quite new to me i've just learned python so now i'm moving on to machine learning with python because I want to build an app that um, that automates legal advice. I've talked a lot about my pro my projects that I've worked on and that I'm working on. So I'm adding another project, which is uh, automated legal advice, similar to like um, uh, an artificial intelligence um, lawyer, so an AI lawyer, which is like an assistant, basically giving free advice to people who can't afford it. So. Um, it will similar. It will, be, it will work similar to the way a regular attorney will work. Only difference is that uh, it will be in a It will be a an AI program which you'll be interacting with. So uh, thanks, guys, for watching.